What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Mist Survival. All right, so here's the deal, guys. I want to make the garage, okay? We're not going to be able to make the garage today because I have no clue where to get the blueprints, okay? So if you guys know where to get the blueprints, let me know in the comments. I'm going to look on Discord. I'm going to try and find out for next episode. I would love to make the garage next episode. And what I'm going to do this episode is we are going to, it's so weird hitting K for map, by the way. Um, what we're gonna do this episode is we're gonna hit up this bandit camp and see what we can do. Now there is a sniper guarding that bandit camp, which is gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make some, uh, I'm gonna need a saw and a hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and make the ammo bench. And I, th I don't think I can make a lot of ammo, but I can make some ammo. Um, right here, I actually, I actually made a mortar and pestle. And I then ground down the sulfur and the saltpeter. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sleep through the night. All right? Because in the morning, I'm going to show you exactly how I made the mortar and pestle. I don't, learn, I don't really like to do that kind of stuff off camera. But, you know, I just wanted to get it done because I need to get some stuff done. Let's go ahead and save the game. And then we're going to come on down here. And we are going to look at this. So right here is the mortar and pestle. It's eight stone. All right, and then once you've done that, you go in the mortar and pestle, and then you can go ahead and grind stuff. I'm also, I also need some charcoal, so I'm gonna have to get the fire going, as well as I'm making some iron. Uh, I also did some looting off camera. Uh, just, you know, just went ahead and grabbed some uh, components and stuff like that because I needed them. All right, so um, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some of this stuff in here, and then we're gonna make a bunch of gears because I think we need uh, four gears. All right, that's gonna eat up three hours. And we're gonna make four gears. That's what I need for the uh, ammo reloading bench, or I guess it's called the reloading bench. Kind of an interesting name. All right, and there we go. And then we can also, we also, we also need to make cartridges. I do have one brass ingot. Um, I found it as, oh boy, hold on, I'm starving and dying of thirst here. All right, let's take care of that really quickly. So I know I have I know I have a lot of food up here. So and I should have plenty of water as well. Excuse me, door. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and take a bunch of water. Then we're going to eat this, and then we're gonna have something to drink. Yeah, anytime you're doing a lot of this stuff, like sleeping and everything, all of your de you're dehydrating, you're getting hungry. All that stuff needs to be thought about. Even though I didn't think about it, um, do as I say, not as I do. Right? <laughs> Isn't that what your parents used to tell you? When you did something that they did when they were kids and they said, don't do what I did. Yeah, sounds about right. All right, let's go ahead and put these in here. Okay. And then we're going to come downstairs. And I think the brass ingot is downstairs. I definitely looted a brass ingot. I'm pretty sure I looted it in the, the mine. We're going to have to go back to the mine at some point too. I'm barely going to be able to make any ammo today because I just didn't, I didn't come out with enough stuff. Um, which is fine. Grab that. And we're going to come over here and we are going to make the cartridges and we are going to make the cartridges right here. And this is for the, uh, the, not an AK, it's uh, M4. It's for the M4. All right. So now that we have those cartridges, we got to finish up the ammo bench. And then once we finish up the ammo bench, we should be able to make some M4 ammo. Although I think we're going to need some more coal. Um, oh yeah, we got 13. Okay. We got some coal. It's that's not enough, but it's it'll be, it should be enough for now. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. We still need the iron and the wood. I did leave the iron downstairs, and the wood is upstairs. Well, I have 16 cartridges and only 10 gunpowder. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make some more gunpowder, but it's not gonna be it. Oh, you get four per. Okay, cool. That will be enough then. All right, nice. That is real nice. Now we got 18 gunpowder, so we're gonna come in here. We've got 16 of the cartridges, 18 of the gunpowder. And we're going to go ahead and make 16 rounds for the M4. Now, the uh, bandit camp that I'm going to is going to have a sniper tower I'm going to have to deal with. And I'm not really looking forward to that. Um, but I think the dog's there. So I'm going to try and get the dog today. So let me go ahead and organize my inventory. And then we're going to get out there and see what we can get done. Okay, so I'm actually going to wear body armor for this one today. And I'm going to wear a helmet. And for my equipment, I have... Mm, not a lot of arrows, unfortunately, um, but some arrows, and uh, we'll see if we can get we'll see if we can get done with the arrows. 
I have um, the hunting bow, obviously, the shotgun, and the M4. It's not a ton of ammo, but it might be enough. We'll see. I don't know how. I don't know exactly how guarded that like base is. Um, so we're just gonna have to kind of go there and see what's what. If it's really guarded, you know, there's a, there's a chance I might fail today. I'm gonna try really hard, and I'm gonna do what I can to get it done. But there is a chance I might fail. We'll just have to kind of see about that. I will also check the cabin over here for more arrows, because I have been doing the loot refresh trick. Honestly, without the loot refresh trick, this game would be. I, I, I'm not gonna say unplayable because it's not technically unplayable, but it would be really really tough. So, all right, let's come in here and see what we got. And, nope, this is the wrong building. Okay, I'm not going back to the other building, the hell of it. Actually, I might have already grabbed the arrow, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. So, we are going to be going up this way. And, if I remember correctly, the sniper rifle, the sniper tower is right in the front of the place. So, I'm going to, yeah, it was past, yeah, it was up here. Yeah, it was past... Oh, there it is. Wow, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Well, I guess uh, we gotta try. Um, I will go... Here, you know what? Let's come back. Let's get out. I guess we're out of range. <laughs> In this game, you never know, right? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to drive up the left side and just go off-road. And hope that the vehicle doesn't flip. And we will just go up this way. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. And it looks like we've got a little bit of cover over here, which is good. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Um, yeah, a little bit of cover, but not enough. It's pretty nice, though. I could drive over here. So maybe I can come around the back. Yeah, maybe. So we got over here. That looks like it might be the end of the map, so I should probably be careful. Alright. Let's get out and hope we don't get sniped. Alright, I'm going to try from this vantage point, I guess. So let's see what we can do here. If I hit these guys in the upper body, I think, it's, I think it kills them. So I'm just going to be patient, wait for them to stop moving. And then try and nail them. Damn, they don't stop moving for very long, do they? Let's try and get this one. I can't see them with their stupid ears. This is going to be tough. See, I don't know. Those branches could actually be blocking the shots. As well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think if there's like a branch in the way, it could really block the shot. And that might be what's happening. Maybe. Let's try from this angle. This is definitely a better angle. Alright. Hmm. I thought that would have hit him. Hmm. Alright, I'm probably going to reload. But I want to try some more stuff here just to kind of get a feel for it. All right, I think I'm aiming too low. Yep, I'm definitely aiming too... Oh, my goodness. Definitely was aiming too low. That was my problem. And, like, four of them are already dead. Wow. The explosive arrows are legit. All right, I'm just going to rush in because I I'm probably... Oh, hold on. I didn't see this place. Forgot there was another tower over here. Is there somebody in it? I'm going to rush in. Alright, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to reload. Because I just wasted a bunch of arrows. 
But what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to check out this tower. I don't think there's anybody in this tower. But I could very well be wrong about that. So let's check it out. Nope. Nobody in this tower. I think I might just rush the other tower. You know what, if I get it all done today, ask eh, screw it, I'll throw those arrows away. We'll see. We shall see. I was definitely aiming low. I was not compensating for arrow drop. Pretty much at all. Oh no, that was a fall fall. That was a far fall, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. All right. He did. Okay, so. Let's see if he dropped his gun. That's what I really want. Honestly, I want the gun more than anything else. If he dropped the gun, it would have flew that way. So sometimes when you shoot that guy, he'll drop a broken hunting rifle. But sometimes it'll like fly out. And you gotta kinda look for it like over here. But I don't I don't think it did. Damn it, that's a shame. The other thing I could do is it could be under his body. So what I could do is I could go up there and I could kind of move his body. Um, somebody said you can move with a crowbar or like a, do I have a melee weapon with me? I don't, you can't use a crowbar as a melee weapon. I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And if you hit him right, you can move his body around. Nah, it doesn't, sometimes it's underneath him. That's why. Damn it. I was really hoping to get that sniper rifle. Okay. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and break in. I mean, we got it done. So that's all that really matters. Break in here. And that is the key, I think, to get the dog out. Or the code. 1920. Great year. The roaring 20s. And that's all we have up here. Man, those are, those exploding crossbow bolts are, or uh, arrow... Exploding arrows are freaking awesome. I might have to go back and get some more of those. The thing is, it's in the green mist area. Which I don't like. Weapon parts. What are weapon parts for? Because I noticed if you want to make guns, you can get shotgun parts, you can get pistol parts, you can get rifle parts, but I don't know what to use weapon parts on. Alright, I'm going to look for that that um, hunting rifle again, but I'll do it at the end and off camera. Okay. And they could have guns underneath them. Nope, nothing there. Man, those, those exploding arrows, man. I felt like Rambo, right? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, let's just uh, release the dog, right? That's what we came here for. Hey, puppers. How's it going? 1920. One, nine, two, zero. Beautiful. Roof, roof. What's up, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, you're in the ceiling. Oh, you're... Oh, God, that's creepy. It looked like he's walking on the ceiling. Some kind of alien dog or something. So let's see what we could do with this dog. First of all, let's put our axe away so we don't accidentally hit him. Um, left alt, command, interact, feed, talk. Uh, call, station, exit. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to exit. Oh, yeah, you can have him attack. Uh, left alt command. Come here, unfollow. Okay, so you should be following me. Right? You follow me? Because it said unfollow. You know, follow me? Hmm. Yeah, it was weird. It said unfollow, but you don't seem to be following me. Uh, so let's do unfollow. And then let's do follow. Call, exit, call, follow. Okay. Which station means. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay. Hopefully he's following me. Let's see what kind of loot we got around here. Food. Apples. 
Doesn't someone need an apple for some kind of quest or something? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Ooh, nice stuff in here. I brought grenades in case I would need them, but I obviously did not. Okay, nothing in there. I'd imagine there'd be a bag upgrade around here somewhere. Um, I missed the one at the last camp, unfortunately. Oh, there's some of my hunting arrows. Yeah, I could probably find my hunting arrows if I looked around enough. Yeah, I was just aiming too low. It's hard to tell. Like, the explosive arrows are really good for gauging on, you know, if you're aiming too high or too low. But the regular arrows, I just, I just can't tell. Is there nothing else of interest around here? This is like weapon parts, but it's not let me pick them up. It's like they're inside the thing. Okay. Probably not that big of a deal. Okay, I've searched around here. I couldn't find anything of note. Um, I can't seem to get the dog to follow me. Maybe I have to feed him. It's, can I feed him anything? What are you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where to get dog feed from. Uh, and I don't know. Hopefully he'll follow me because I'm going back to my vehicle. Yeah, I mean, I, I hit the follow button. He's supposed to be following me. So um, I looked around pretty good. I, I guess not that good because there's spark plugs. Um, but yeah, I looked around pretty good. And we could do that. And that. I thought I looked around good. Pretty sure I looked around pretty good. But yeah, I didn't really find too much. I, re I looked around for that broken hunting rifle. I just couldn't find it. So it's, it's probably not there. Honestly, but who knows? Could have rolled all the way down the hill. I have no clue. What I want to do now is I would like to get back to my vehicle. Which is, yeah, it doesn't show up on the map. Nothing shows up on the map. Unless you have pencils. So I'm going to get back to my vehicle. I'm going to drop everything off. Then we're going to go up there and check out that those buildings up there. Because I don't even know what those are about. So as soon as I got in my truck, uh, the dog popped in right in the dry, uh, passenger seat. He's kind of stuck in the seat a little bit. But here, check it out. Kind of stuck in the seat a little bit, but, you know, he's there. He's there. All right, so this is the spot that I was looking at that I kind of want to explore now. I kind of expect it to be empty, but we'll see. We'll see what the what the dealio is in here. See, now, this is a... Why did the bandits live here? This would have been, made a much better bandit base. Much more defensible. Oh, okay, so there's going to be some stuff here. Cool. Awesome. Uh, try to get up there. Okay, we're up here. Nothing here. Nothing back here. Yeah, this place is going to be pretty empty, I figured. I was surprised I found ammo here at all, to be honest. <clears throat> Can I climb up that? Let's try. No. Apparently, I cannot. Uh, okay. Doesn't look like there's much here. Can I go inside? No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is looking pretty empty. Still weird. Like, it, it, it's more weird. That I found one thing of ammo and that's it. Then if I didn't find anything. Right? Isn't that weird? That's that's very odd. Alright, I probably can't go in there. Um, can't I already tried to go up one of those. Can't do that. Alright, this looks like a steaming pile of nothing. Okay then. Fair enough. Um, should I try and drive off this cliff? Let's try and drive off the cliff, see what happens. Come on, buddy, get in. I'm going for a ride. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, boy! Off road! Ah, shit. How did this happen? Ah! I don't. What are we gonna do, boy? I know. We'll reload. You know what I was just thinking? This is the way to get down. And because I've reloaded the game, all the bandits are back. Should we try and go in like. Guns blazing. 
just for fun. It, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get the uh, the sniper again for the sniper rifle. Yeah, let's go for it. The hell with it. Worst comes to worst, we just reload again. Uh, I'd like to find a bush, please. Where are the bushes? I needs to hide in a bush. I can't go too far to the right because then the uh, <clears throat> then the sniper will get me. So we got to stay on this side to stay out of his, you know, his crosshairs. It's gonna be almost impossible to kill if they don't stop. Here, you know what? Let me do this. And now my DPI is lower, so I have better aim sensitivity. Hmm. Hmm. Did I kill the one guy, I hope, at least? Come on. I'm not seeing anybody. I hear a lot of gunfire, and that's kind of scary. Oh, here we go. Please stop. There we go. Got him. All right, here we go. That's a sniper. Should I have rushed a sniper? I feel like he shouldn't have an angle on me. Where is this guy? He's gotta be right here. Shit, where the hell is he? Sounds like he's coming from this direction. Oh, I just saw him. Right there. I feel... You know what? I'm going to rush this guy anyway. Oh, he scared the shit out of me, dog. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can still get this guy. He saw me. Pretty sure I just got him. Hopefully. Uh, stupid wall. Get out of the way, you stupid wall. Right, let's see if we can get this guy. There it is! There it is! Oh, it was worth it! It was... Oh, wait, the hunting rifle? That's not even a broken hunting rifle. That's a legit, real deal hunting rifle. I'm not even going to loot anything. I just want to get the hell out of here. Just in case I didn't kill everybody. I'm pretty sure I did, though. But you know what? Let's get out of here. I'm going to call this a win. I get my vehicle, and I'm going to GTFO. Man, I didn't think I'd actually get the hunting rifle, guys. I was like, there's no way. I'm just wasting ammo here. But, yeah, that was... Oh, my God. That is so freaking sweet. And, that, like I said, that's not even a broken hunting rifle. That's a hunting rifle. You usually don't get that. So, I came in. I kicked ass. I got the dog. I reloaded the game by mistake without thinking about it. Respawned everybody. And then got the hunting rifle. And now I'm going to run over their bodies. Now, I could probably loot their bodies, but I just want to get home, guys. I'm freaking excited. I just want to get home, save the game, be safe. And that is freaking phenomenal. That's going to make taking future hunting bases so much easier. And I've got like a hunt. I've got like 60 rounds for the hunting rifle. And it's like a sniper rifle. It's not something you're going to be like going through a lot of rounds with. So having, um, I think I got to go this way. Having 60 rounds for the hunting rifle is a ton of... Of hunting rifle ammo. That is a really, really good find. Now I just got to figure out where to get um, the plans for the for the garage. I asked in Discord in the, in the game's Discord, and somebody said like it's like you got to kill the um, the berserker in the mine, or you can get it from saving a survivor, or you could get it from a random event. It just seemed kind of like random. So 
I don't know. I, I look forward to your guys' comments, and I will ask more in Discord and try and find out, because I'd really like to make the garage. But I am going to call this one here, guys. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Man, that was, that was really... That was great. I'm way more excited about the hunting rifle than the dog. I mean, I love dogs as much as the next guy, but I don't think the dog does much. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, I'm freaking excited. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.